and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is 4.53 a.m. and I'm on my way to boot camp to start my week off moving my body and for another successful healthy week. I finished my protein coffee this morning. I actually got up a little bit early. I woke up because I had to go to the bathroom and then I couldn't go back to sleep. I mean, welcome to perimenopause. So I decided to get up around 3... 15 where normally I sleep till four. So I did some work on my computer and actually was able to drink my entire protein coffee before heading out to boot camp, which I'm not mad about. The more caffeine, the better to make it through my workout. It is 50 degrees this morning and it's supposed to be almost 60 degrees in the morning by Friday. So I'm about to transition again from t-shirts and workout pants to tank tops and workout shorts as we move into summer. That's exciting that it's continuing to get warmer and warmer in the morning. I also have a really good dinner recipe plan tonight. It's, it's going to be a good day. So I am going to get my boot camp workout in and I will see you back at home for breakfast. It's time for breakfast. I just came home from boot camp, boot camp, got ready for the day and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich this morning. I've been craving like McDonald's breakfast. So I'm going to make it at home, much healthier option. Able That way I'm able to get in a little bit more protein. So I'm going to do one of the Thomas English muffins. And then I'm going to top that with a slice of that light cheese that I found at Trader Joe's. I haven't even opened this yet. It's 80 calories per slice. It has less fat and eight grams of protein than normal cheese. So I'm going to put a slice of cheese on there. And then I'm going to do one one of my chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties one egg and then I think I'm going to put on some avocado I have this avocado left over from avocado toast yesterday and I don't want it to get too brown so I think I'm going to put just a thin layer of avocado maybe 20 25 grams on my breakfast sandwich and then I'm going to have that with a side of raspberries So here is my breakfast. So here is my breakfast sandwich. I have one egg, the cheese, the sausage patty on one half of the English muffin. And then I weighed out 25 grams of avocado and then 65 grams of fresh raspberries. So I just finished breakfast and it's time to take my Bellway fiber gummies. I have been getting a lot of questions on fiber. When do I take my fiber supplement and why? So on days that I go to boot camp, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or days that I do an exercise in the morning that isn't close to a restroom, I always take my Bellway fiber gummies once I get home and have breakfast. These are so incredibly delicious. You can see my container is almost empty. This is a staple for me. So I take three of the fiber gummies every day. They look like little raspberries. They taste amazing. The flavor is raspberry lemon. And what I really love about these is they're sugar free. So you're not getting a bunch of extra carbs and sugar in a gummy vitamin. Gummy vitamins can be packed with sugar and carbohydrates. And I actually recommend that my coaching clients track gummies if they do contain a lot of sugar and carbohydrates. The Bellway gummies have 10 calories and 4 grams of fiber. And again, I take three of these every single day. Not only do they help keep me regular, which is something that I can struggle with because I do eat a high protein diet, they also help with my digestive health, removing unwanted waste, less bloating, occasional constipation, and weight management. Yes, Bellway gummies can definitely help you with weight management. They're organic, they're vegan, and they're made in the USA. And like I said, they're a staple for me. I take them multiple times a week, on average three to five days per week. And this is the one fiber supplement gummy form that I have found that works. That's why it's become a staple for me. The ingredients in the Bellway gummies is organic chicory root, organic agave inulin, and organic monk fruit. Chicory root fiber is a natural fiber that improves digestive health by acting as a prebiotic, nourishing beneficial bacteria in the gut, and supporting healthy gut microbiome. And then the organic agave inulin is a natural soluble fiber that acts as a prebiotic to help regulate the digestive system, promote regularity, and support weight management. And then it sweetens 
sweetened with monk fruit, which is also organic and a no calorie sweetener. So it lowers the amount of sugar again in the gummies, actually no added sugar. And also you need to have prebiotics in order to work with the probiotics in your gut health, in your gut. And the only way to get prebiotics is through food or supplementation. So I really appreciate that Bellway adds prebiotics. So this again is what I take multiple days a week for my fiber supplement. It's very, very effective. They taste delicious. And I love that there's no added sugar. You can actually use the code here on the screen for 25% off. I actually use my own code when I order my Bellway gummies as well. They also have some other amazing fiber supplements on their website, but the super fiber gummies are my go-to. Look at your baby. You get it. Get it. <laughs> You ready to kiss? Kiss me. <laughs> yeah, you do good girl. Let me see. Show mommy. Oh, oh yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> kiss again. Kiss again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to hop on a coaching call and I'm going to mix up my greens for the day. You guys ask a lot as well about the greens that I take. So the greens that I use are from Motivate. The peach is my favorite flavor. They also have tangerine, but I just love the peach. I actually love peach anything. These taste amazing. They don't have any weird green, grassy, earthy flavor. They definitely taste more like a good peach juice. They are the typical greens powder. And again, the peach is my favorite. The tangerine is really good as well, but I'm definitely a peach girl. So what I do is I go ahead and fill a about a 16 ounce glass with water, about three quarters of the way full, add in my greens, and then I mix it with my little frother, and it mixes beautifully in cold liquid, and then I drink that, and I'm able to get in my greens for the day. In addition to the greens coming in the tub, they also have a greens sampler pack. This is a really good way to test out the different flavors, the tangerine and the peach. You actually get two packets of each flavor in the little sampler pack. These are what I like to have for travel, that way I can take my greens with me on the go. You can leave these in your car, your purse, your desk at work, and you always have your Motivate Greens with you. So in each one of these little packets is one scoop or one serving of the greens. And again, you get two tangerine and two peach. So if you wanna try the two flavors, this is a good way to do it. If you found your favorite flavor, buy it. You can buy them in the full-size tub as well. The Motivate Greens actually supply you with super antioxidants, fruits, vegetables, fiber, and enzymes, all in one delicious drink. It contains organic ingredients and never any artificial dyes, colors, sweeteners, or flavors. Flavors. The digestive enzyme and fiber blend ensure that digestive system is functioning at its best by absorbing key nutrients and promoting regularity. They really help nourish and revitalize your body, including supporting your optimal nutrient absorption, great source of alkalizing minerals, fiber for digestive support, and powerful antioxidants for immune support. I will link the Motivate Greens down below for you with a 20% discount. You know I use a lot of the Motivate supplements and the greens are something I incorporate into my diet multiple times a week. On average, three to five times a week, I'm using Motivate Greens to help me get in my greens, super fruits, and all my veggies. So I had to quickly take you outside and show you. Look, our cactus is blooming. It blooms these flowers for like one second, literally. Like they're open for one day and then they close up and die. But look how beautiful all of those little fuzzy balls on the cactus, those become these beautiful flowers. On our cactus here, we have the little fuzzy balls as well. So I'm so excited to see them all bloom.
So here is my morning snack. I don't think I'll have anything else before lunch. It's already 9.30, and I usually eat lunch around 11, 11.30. I did add a little bit of whipped cream to the top, gave the dog some whipped cream, 35 grams of protein. So this is definitely a Starbucks blended coffee dupe with 35 grams of protein. I use Drag Up Cold Brew. You can use any flavor of Drag Up Cold Brew. I change it up just depending on what they have seasonally or what sounds good to me. And then I make it in my cold brew pitcher. I do one packet or one scoop of any Clean Simple Eats protein powder. I have mint cookie this time. And then two scoops of the Herbalife Ice Protein Coffee Mix. My favorite is the Mocha, but I love the Caramel Macchiato and the House Blend as well. I actually have an entire video on these 35 gram of protein coffees. Great way to get in 35 grams of protein. You don't have to spend money going to Starbucks and it tastes absolutely incredible. I'll link everything down below. The cold brew pitcher, drag up, Herbalife and Clean Simple Eats. Definitely make this. It's so good. You can make this iced and hot as well, but it's it's already warm here. It's going to be almost 90 today. So blended coffee it is. Come here. Come here. You pay by side? Ooh. You pay by side, Daddy? Oh, Baba! Oh, yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yay. Come here, Lola. Lola, you play ball side? Are you playing ball side? Yeah, you need to get him. Yes, I know. You get Palmer when he comes back, okay? All right, Baba, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this dog is crazy. He'll play ball all day. Get him, Lola. Oh, I can't be bothered. Okay, one more. Let's go. You get it. Oh, <laughs> it's squeezy. It is lunchtime. I'm hungry and I pre-planned my lunch a little bit because I wanted to have one of the tuna creations packets. So I put this in the fridge. I love it cold. So it's nice and cold. This is the sweet and spicy star kiss tuna creations. These are amazing for quick, easy lunches and snacks, 90 calories, 16 grams of protein. I love the sweet and spicy and I don't like spicy. So I really like this one. It's not super spicy. It's more sweet, mild spice. Love it. And then I I have this little bag of crackers. I actually got these from Nutrition. These are from the brand Hilo, and these are ranch almond flour tortilla chips. So I'm going to put the tuna on the tortilla chip. The bag is 150 calories, but it has nine grams of protein and only five carbs. So it's a really low carb chip. I have not tried these. So we're gonna try these together. We'll try it by itself, and then we'll put it with the tuna. And then I found this in the pantry. I was actually cleaning out my pantry. I have a whole bag to go to our local food bank. My boot camp group is doing a food bank drive. I'll show you the basket I put together of stuff that I had in my pantry that I wanted to donate. And I found these. These are the freeze dried strawberries from the Dollar Tree. The only ingredient in here is strawberries and the entire bag is 60 calories. So I do not count this as Weight Watcher points. I do track this in my calorie counting app. So we're gonna have strawberries, tuna, and ranch, and ranch chips. And then I want a sweet little sweet something after lunch. So I'm going to have a serving of the true fruit. It's 150 calories for a quarter cup. I weigh these out on my food scale. These are the hyper dried peaches and cream. These are so good. I actually had Troy try these the other night and he really liked them too. This is what they look like. And you can see there's a freeze dried peach inside. They're so good. So I'm gonna have some of these for dessert. I'll show you my donation bag for the food drive, but let's try out these little Hilo chips. And then I wanted to tell you guys quickly about a fun little NSB from boot camp today. I'm pretty excited about it. I did a Instagram reel on my boot camp workout and actually posted it in my Facebook group. But Julia took some video today while we were working out. So as I'm talking about boot camp, I'll insert the clips. Ooh, these smell good. So here is what the little chips look like. They smell like Cool Ranch Doritos, actually. Mmm. Wow. 10 out of 10. They, these remind me of the Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers, that same kind of texture with ranch on them with a spin of tortilla. I know that's a lot, but it's really, really, really good. I wanna try it with some tuna fish. Again, I got them on Nutrition, so I'll link Nutrition for you. I do have a 10% discount. And actually, speaking of Nutrition, I think my order might be coming today. I ordered a bunch of snacks from Nutrition to try, so 
If my order comes today, we'll do them in today's video. Otherwise, we'll do them in next week's. All right, so we have a little tuna on the cracker. Mmm, that's a really good combo. Delicious. These are incredible. I'll definitely be ordering some more of these. Eat my lunch, and then we'll sit down on the couch with the dogs. Troy's gone, so Palmer's already moping, and I'll fill you in on my big NSV today. So I threw a bunch of stuff together for the food drive. There's so much stuff in here. I have little fruit packs, cans of chicken, tuna. They asked for basically non-perishable goods, obviously. So I threw in some wild chips, some peanut cups, regular chips, some protein bars, some pancake mix, lots of good stuff to donate. What do you say? You say good? Say we're gonna donate. All right, so I am sitting on the couch with this one who's a little mopey. Or since daddy's gone, huh? Little Mopey and then little Miss Lola right there. Lola, come up. Come sit with me. Come on. She wants a treat. Anyways, let me give you that fun little NSV, that non-scale victory. So I've talked about this on Instagram a couple times, and I actually talked about this when I posted about my big 10-mile hike. And that is how my endurance and cardiovascular health has just drastically improved over the last year or so of consistently going to boot camp, moving my body, hiking, doing the 5Ks. Well, today at boot camp, she worked us hard. She loves Mondays. She makes us make up for the weekend of not being at boot camp, and she works us really hard. Well, today, not only did we do normal boot camp, but we actually did suicide drills not once, but twice. And if you don't know what that is, they suck. It makes us run to one crosswalk, tap the ground, run back. Then run all the way to the next crosswalk, tap and run back. And then we have to run to the complete other end of the parking lot, tap and come back. We did that twice. I mean, I was out of breath. That's a lot of running. That's a lot of running. It's quick running in addition to all of the other HIIT training and cardio and weightlifting. So we did that today. We did lots of squats. We did what we call total man makers or total woman makers. And like I said, I'll be inserting clips of my workout on the screen here. I'll actually try to insert the clip of me doing the total woman makers as we like to call them. We do have a man in our class. So we do also call them total man makers, but it's a full body exercise. And at the end of my workout today, I pulled up my Apple watch and I always screenshot my workout and post it on Instagram just for motivation for people to get up and move their body. And when I screenshot it, I about died when I saw my average heart rate. My average heart rate at boot camp was 122. That's insane. Normally my average heart rate is about 130, 135. It used to be like 150. So it's progressively went down and it dawned on me then and it dawned on me again today that that's just another indication of my health and my cardiovascular health. And the fact that I can kill it and work real hard, including two sets of suicide drills and still have an average heart rate of 122. Now I will say that I do like to see my heart rate a little higher because in order for it to really be considered cardio, we like to see about 125 or more. Now this doesn't mean that my heart rate didn't get higher. That was just my average over the course of my workout. So on one hand, I was like, go girl, your average heart rate is low. That means you have built up endurance in your cardiovascular system. And then on the other hand, I'm like, dang it, that's not even quite cardio, which I use boot camp as my three days of cardio every week. So it was a little bit of a double-edged sword, but I'm just so proud of myself. And that's what happens with consistent exercise, consistently moving your body, leaning down, just really focusing on fitness and health and lifestyle more than weight loss. You see these big changes in your heart rate. And like I said, when I took that 10 mile hike, my heart rate was in zone one most of the time, which is the lowest zone. And that was a 1200 foot elevation gain in a 10 mile hike. So that also just says a lot. And these really are the moments and the things for me that bring me so much joy, scale aside. Like I don't give two craps about the scale when I'm improving my health and my cardiovascular system because that's really truly what's the most important. So today was really exciting for me and I'm interested to see how the rest of boot camp sessions pan out and kind of what my heart rate does. But yeah, I'm really, really proud of myself and I had to share that. And I also thought that I would pop in some little clips here of my actual boot camp workout. Now for reference, I go to boot camp three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I use Copilot, the fitness app. I love it so much. I actually have a disc. I have a link for two free weeks, please check it out. Take advantage of the two free weeks, get in touch with the coach, get a workout, get some nutrition, see if you like it. You can cancel at the end of the two weeks, 
no obligation, but it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it to check it out. I love Copilot. So I work out with them two to three times a week as well. It has really changed my workouts, my weightlifting workouts, because it corrects my form in real time and it's completely set up and tailored to me. So depending on your fitness level, your workouts will look very different. So I just, I love Copilot so much. I definitely think it was worth downloading the app and checking it out for the two free weeks. So I'll put that at the top of the description box for you. Just mixed up my creatine from one up. I'll link one up. I have a discount for them. I'll just put everything I talk about in the description box, but I mixed up my creatine. So I'm going to sip on that. And I think I'm going to watch a show with the dogs for a little bit before I have an afternoon snack. So see, we're going to watch a show and relax. Yes. Yes, we're gonna watch the show and relax. So for afternoon snack, we're keeping it simple and high in protein. So I'm actually going to do a full cup of Good Culture Cottage Cheese. That's going to give me 20, I need glasses, I need my glasses, 26 grams of protein. And this expires here in the next few days, so I wanna eat that up. And then I also have some fresh blackberries that need to be eaten as well. I think I'm going to weigh out about 65 grams and we'll top our cottage cheese. So I decided to do an entire cup of cottage cheese for the extra protein, 75 grams of blueberries. So I changed things just a little bit, but this is my afternoon snack. So for dinner tonight, I'm really excited. I'm making spaghetti squash pizza boat. I've been wanting pizza. I love spaghetti squash. So this is the best of both worlds. So let me show you what you'll need. So the first thing I did is threw my spaghetti squash in the microwave for about 12 minutes comes out cooked perfectly. You can also cook it in an instant pot, slow cooker or in the oven, but the microwave seriously saves so much time. And then you're going to need your favorite pizza sauce, pepperoni. I have regular pepperoni for Troy, turkey pepperoni for me. And then I have light mozzarella cheese for me and regular Italian blend for Troy. I had to throw the other half back in the microwave for a minute, but basically what you're going to do is just shred the inside of the spaghetti squash. Leave it in the boat though, because we're going to put all our pizza toppings on top. So we're going to put about a half of a cup of your favorite pizza sauce right on top. And then a half of a cup of cheese. I'm doing the light mozzarella for mine. I'm going to do one serving of pepperoni and a serving of this particular one is 18 slices. So I just count out 18 slices. All right, 18 slices. Now let me go ahead and pull the other spaghetti squash out of the oven and we'll put that one together for Troy. So here is my spaghetti, my pizza spaghetti squash, Troy's pizza spaghetti squash. These are going into the oven on broil. I move my rack up towards the top and we're just going to allow them to cook until the pepperonis cook through and the cheese is melted. Our squash is already cooked. So make sure you pre-cook your spaghetti squash. Look at how amazing these look. I am so excited for dinner. This one is mine. I love how crispy the cheese got and the pepperoni. And then this one is Troy's. So let me go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here's my dinner. This entire thing is one serving. So that is a great way to get in vegetables, protein, pizza. It's a low carb version. I honestly don't even know if I'll be able to fill, finish all of this, but I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. It is time for some dessert and I am craving a yogurt bowl. So I'm going to make, so I'm going to make a high protein yogurt bowl. So I'm using the Chobani zero sugar strawberry cheesecake Greek yogurt. You can use any Greek yogurt. Actually the Chobani zero sugar are my favorite. I also really like the light and fit, but the ingredients aren't as good, but I still really like that one. So I'm going to do Chobani strawberry cheesecake. I'm going to top it with half of a banana. So I'm going to half, 
I'm gonna slice up half of a banana, and then we're going to do a quarter cup of Catalina Crunch and Honey Graham. I love all Catalina Crunch. I love all things Catalina Crunch. I do have a, web, a discount for them on their website. You can pick this up in a lot of stores as well. I always just order off their website and use the discount code, but the serving of this is half of a cup, and half of a cup is 11 grams of protein, 110 calories, but I think I'm only gonna do a quarter of a cup, which is, basic, which is about 18 grams, and that'll still give me, what, six and a half grams of five and a half. It'll still give me about six grams of protein along with the protein in the yogurt. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of Chia Smash. I love my Chia Smash on my yogurt bowl. I buy mine off of Amazon. They also sell this through Imperfect Foods if you subscribe to Imperfect Foods and Nutrition. But I'll link it on Amazon. I'll have Nutrition linked down below with that 10% discount if you're interested in those chips. But I do one tablespoon of this on top and it just adds this jam kind of sweetness. And then sometimes I pop some whipped cream on top, but I'm not really feeling that today because between this and this, I've got quite a bit of sweetness on my yogurt. So let me put my yogurt bowl together and I'll show you what she looks like. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of what I eat to reach my protein goal and calorie goal every single day. Don't forget I will link everything down below for you, including those Bellway gummies. Motivate everything I shared with you in today's video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on, because I do a What I Eat in a Day each and every Wednesday, and I actually upload five videos every single week. I will also put nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and my Facebook group down in the description box for you. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!